Hey guys, Sen here. Like I said in my previous video, this will be a continuation of the Hey Sparky guide, focusing in on non-default layout one-shots in the clinic capital in this raid weekend that's currently going on. I've gotten so many of them. In fact, I actually broke the world record for the most gold looted in a single raid weekend at 2,000 plus, which is the highest matchmaking pool there is in the game. I looted 1.753 million, breaking the record and all of my non-default layout one-shots were so critical to making it happen. So a bit of backstory, I needed to one-shot this Builder's Workshop in order to claim the record because I was actually running out of attacks and I was going to fall just short. I needed some one-shots on this raid and I did not have any default layouts to get any against. And so this Builder's Workshop and a Balloon Lagoon were my two best chances on raid 18 to get any attacks against the Capital Peak. Notice when I dropped this Barbarian down, there is three minutes, zero seconds on the clock this builder's workshop is almost 10k and looks quite difficult there's a lot of ruins on the outside but the rest of it is like an actual base so i didn't think this was possible but it was still my best shot barb to clear the pekka building down low haste leaning on the base rams the tank on the approach graveyard to distract the giant cannon as well as blast bow and it's time to go in more ramps open up some walls to tank for sparky giant to now tank as well in behind make sure that there's always a constant stream of tanking and look at these sparky chains first we chain the cannon and the spirit thrower this next chain two spirit throwers finishes off the crusher finishes off the wizard tower and sparky this attack was probably the cleanest sparky hit I have ever done. It was insane. Sparky actually gets a shot before the giant finishes off the air bombs and gets some chip damage on the blast bow. Sparky locks on the blast bow and will finish two multi cannons that are touching the blast bow as those graveyard larries are continuously distracting the multi cannon. Now Sparky is working her way in. Our second graveyard goes down and distract all those point defenses. And look at this Sparky chain. Notice how I used the barb to chip down the air bomb so Sparky could one shot. Time is a major factor. There was three minutes when I started the attack and I needed every single second of it. She locks onto the cannon, will chain down everything. Nice that this wizard tower could be one shot in this case because it was low level. Sparky locks on the air bombs and will take down all of the buildings on the backhand side over there. Barb to try to tank for Sparky, but actually pulls a zap trap. So everything just is falling to place on the attack. The Sparky chains rip through the course so fast. There's a minute 25 left. And Sparky turns around, goes after the air defense, will chain down the spirit thrower, locks onto the Tesla afterwards. And the way I deal with the giant cannon, a district hall level three or four ruins, is use a barb to test for the giant bomb and then the hog rider to chip through the giant cannon. And that is mainly to save time because time is a huge issue. And then use those hog riders to go forward and chip down the blast bow as well. That saves you so much time during the attack and every second matters as Sparky works her way in, locks onto the air defense, lucky for me instead of locking onto the cannon because that will save some shots and take down the spirit thrower quickly so Sparky is not under too much threat. We have one more hog rider left on the map and notice down low I dropped my barbarian on top of this trash hut so it would path towards this trash hut and go upwards like there. If I dropped and started my barb on top of this trash hut, he would have worked his way inside like this and died off. So that was a huge split second decision that will save me so much time towards the end as my barb is going to try to clear those trash left. 37 seconds left on the clock. Our last hog rider that we are able to hold on is going to try to chip through the back end side as much as possible finish off the spear thrower and help support the larrys as sparky works through the final buildings on this base but there's only 20 seconds left the district hall has a ton of hp barbarian sparky are working their way through log trap kills a larry there's just one barb to clear the last trash huts on the top hand side district hall goes down this bottom little hut will be secured <laughs> but there's four Three, two, one, and I swear to God, I thought I time failed, but somehow the Barbarian got it at the last split second, and we secured the second one shot that we needed, and let's head over to that Balloon Lagoon. 
So the Balloon Lagoon was the other base I needed, and this time you want to start your Giant on top of the Air Bombs as well as a Sparky to try to chip down these defenses so Sparky can one-shot all of them as well as keep your Sparky as healthy as possible. When you see the District Hall level 5, 4, and 3 ruin on Balloon Lagoon, this is how you want to do the approach. A Ram to tank all those traps as well as distract the Rocket Artillery. And then Sparky is going to slowly work her way through all of this compartment. Sparky will finish off the rock artillery, chip down the air bombs, and then we'll use the Barbarian to speed her up. We had 2 minutes 59 seconds left when we dropped our first troop as well. So this one also came so close on time. Then split a barrel, try to get 1 towards the left and 2 towards the right. And then Sparky will finish this compartment. Those Larrys will tank all those defenses for Sparky to get 2 more chains and finish off the entire 12 o'clock section. And then it's a matter of whether you can finish off the rest of the base. You have held on to those two graveyards. I made that mistake in my last video that costed me and now having two graveyards is a lot better than having one deeper inside the base and we can use both of them to tank for the rock artillery and all those point defenses to make sure Sparky is kept as safe as possible. A third rock artillery was super exposed so we'll chip that down in two shots from Sparky so huge value on the approach. There's just one last pesky max style rock artillery on the back and side over there but these Sparky chains are going to be crazy against rush layouts. I try to bring more ramps and more giants because those tend to get a lot more value than the hog riders. Sometimes the hog riders will actually finish off the defenses that Sparky is on which is very time inefficient. And so having more rams, having more giants do just provides a lot more distraction and just lets Sparky do her own thing. And now, because time's an issue, we want to clear as many flanking compartments as possible with our remaining tanking troops. If we can, Sparky locks on the Spear Thrower, and that is going to be a money shot. Unfortunately, the Rams bust open and actually kill the Bomb Tower. That would have been a huge shot to finish off the Rock Artillery early, but we now use the Hog Rider to try to help distract our last one with a couple more Rams and the tank. Sparky locks on the Rock Artillery, but we actually lose those Hog Riders because we weren't able to kill it earlier. One last Barbarian towards the right-hand compartment to help assist on top of the cannon to make sure we can finish all that off and push towards the final few buildings on the base. Larry's are going to chip down the district hall and will open up the map for deployment. And at this point, it's just a matter of whether you have done your attack properly. Typically when you go for non-default one-shots, you're going to run out of tanking troops and it's just going to be on your Sparky if she can just navigate those last few buildings on the base. But look at that, she locks on perfectly towards the Spirit Thrower to chip down all of those defensive buildings over there. We have a wave of Larrys coming through. Sparky will two-shot the air bombs, work her way towards the cannon. 10, 9, 8, 7. I was so stressed at this point. But we have just enough troops and Sparky locks onto this little hub before four seconds left on the clock. And we get a non-default one shot against the Balloon Lagoon on our Raid 18 as well. Now taking a look at another non-default Balloon Lagoon, we're going to do the same exact thing with the giant to tank for the sparky this is what you want to be doing against every non-default balloon lagoon when you have the dh5 dh4 and dh3 ruin especially the inferno towers because when the inferno towers are there you cannot leave them for the backside if you leave them for the backside your sparky will die in the middle of the attack sometimes when there's just the dh4 and dh5 rock artillery on the outside i will send in the sparky towards the gut of the base but when there are both of the infernos out here you have to approach it on the very start so that's exactly what we're going to do hold on to our graveyards for deeper into the base by using the barrel to tank both of those infernos. I actually mess up on the split using two barrels towards the left but it's not a problem because these are level four inferno towers. They have a lot more HP and it doesn't really matter where the barrels go but from there it's a matter of whether you have enough troops to finish off the rest of the base. Now I make the call to bring a ton of rams. You either bring a ton of rams or a ton of giants. In this case there's a lot of closed compartments so those rams will move forward and there's a lot of point defenses for those rams to help distract. Rams in general are one of the best tanking troops in the clan capital because they don't kill the defenses like giants sometimes do. And so your Sparky never has a problem with redirecting and not getting her shot off. And they just provide so much distraction with those barbarians that they get so much value. So you just trickle in your rams slowly but surely. Use barbs on the flank to try to finish off the spear throwers. But there is a Tesla that just messes me up so badly. So you have to use a couple more troops up there another ram to tank the tesla and then we'll use a barb to try to finish that thing off 
and then Sparky is working her way inside. We use our second graveyard to make sure the rock artillery is going to be distracted as we work our way through. A hog rider on the top hand side to make sure we can collapse that and save some time. A ram down low, some barbs to try to take down the cannon if we can, but we should have used another ram earlier to continuously tank the cannon. Unfortunately, those barbarians are going to go down because I was not paying attention and I was focused on my Sparky, but keeping the Sparky alive and healthy is very important. Those multi-cannons are level two, which means our Sparky can one-shot, which is a huge deal for time, as well as making sure they can never shoot at my Sparky. And at this point, once again, you have to take your hands off the wheel and pray you have done everything well enough to make sure you have enough power to go through. In this case, time is not the biggest issue, but Sparky is getting low and she somehow walks her way into another rocket artillery shell. There's a multi-cannon that we can one-shot. Thankfully, if this was level three, this attack would have failed, but Sparky finishes off the multi-cannon and she has just enough health to finish off the crusher and finish off the rocket artillery for a Balloon Lagoon one-shot with Hey Sparky Graveyard. Now up next we have a Golem Quarry. Now this is actually pretty close to the default layout, but because there's Spear Throwers and a bunch of defenses guarding the middle blast as well as Rock Artillery, the default plan will never work and using that is guaranteed to fail. So in this case, we're going to YOLO in with a Hey Sparky down south. And I know that I should come in from the bottom hand side because in the normal Golem Quarry plan, we come in from the bottom side anyways with the Hey Sparky. So just because the base isn't default and you can't use the default plan doesn't mean you can't take elements of the attack and try to incorporate it into the attack that you're going to modify. In this case, I try to use a barrel instead of the Inferno Dragon to try to go in to snipe the Blasma, but... Uh, my giant actually gets zapped because some of those zaps were moved and the rock artillery redirects on top of the Larry's unfortunately for me, but actually one barrel popped on the outside due to a zap trap and it's tanking for that plasma for so long that was a money barrel accidentally and the Sparky is going to work her way through. In the normal default goal in Cory, there's a break in the defensive ring. Those These defenses are not here and Sparky would wrap her way left. But in this case, because those defenses are there, Sparky will go right. But once again, we take elements of the default Golem Quarry one-shot and use the barrel on top of this Rock Artillery once it gets exposed. And we're just going to adjust and use our second graveyard to tank her Sparky and try to let her work her way into the Blast Bow. Use a Hog Rider over top to try to stun the Blast Bow and make sure that we can chip it down with some extra DPS from that Hog Rider. And we have two Giants, two Rams, and one Barbarian left on the backhand side. Once again, we're going to take elements from the default one shot, knowing that we can actually use a giant to tank for this rock artillery. We're going to try to save one giant for the backhand side over here. And also there's probably a zap trap towards the right hand side, but unfortunately uh, it was a little bit moved and actually hits my Sparky that I was trying to use that ram to tank it. But uh, that was a little unfortunate there. Sparky is getting low though, so we have to be a little bit more careful. Unfortunately, I think the Tesla locks onto my Sparky for one shell, so she's now in the red, but she'll finish off the Spear Thrower. We have a Giant, we have a Barb, and we have a Ram left over. Against Golden Cory with all these cliffs, sometimes what you can do is you can use your tanking troops around the cliff, as assuming that the big defenses are locked onto it, and you can tank those defenses for a long time so he hooked that giant around the cliffs and it'll tank that rock artillery and the rock artillery will miss a ton of shots then a ram to tank all those point defenses and we can just get our way towards that rock artillery and two shot that thing and then afterwards because the giant was moving all that time it's actually full health and we'll tank the final few defenses as we use the barbarian to ch uh, chip through some trash buildings and finish off the last few buildings on this non-default golem quarry one shot which is actually kind of close to default in this case. So now we're going to finish off on a barbarian camp. Actually, this barbarian camp is worse than the default layout, <laughs> which you'll see why. So the defender actually modified it to be worse. In this case, we'll start the Sparky on top of these three point defenses and not on top of the bomb tower because the point defenses are what kills your giants and kills your tanking troops. And so killing those off first is much better for saving troops for deeper into the base. Then the Sparky will wrap her way left. I don't want Sparky to go towards this bomb tower because that would save or spend too much time. That would be eight seconds for two Sparky 
Lucky Shells, and then two Graveyards in the Dead Zones of these multi mortars. Not only do they tank all those defenses, but they'll also chip down the multi cannons in these defenses back here so that Sparky can one shot them as my troops start going down. So once the air defenses go down, then we can take advantage of the fact that there's no air coverage over here on the right hand side, and then use a pack of minions to snipe the giant and snipe the bomb tower, just like in the default plan. We can actually put the uh, minions inside the haste, which is actually kind of funny as well. But the Sparky will finish off the rest of this compartment. And I want the Sparky to wrap her way left. We use a barb to finish off the district hall so we can open up the map for deployment. Then we can send a ram in towards the left hand side over here because we really want the Sparky to go towards the rocket artillery because then it's basically a default layout from there. But yeah, Sparky wraps her way all the way around towards the bomb tower, which is kind of unfortunate. So things are not quite going to plan. Sparky will finish off this compartment though. We can't exactly pull the Tesla because the map isn't open up for deployment which is a little bit unfortunate but the Tesla actually does get pulled at 51% and Sparky will finish that off as well as the air defense and then she actually funnels herself down somehow and finally we'll go towards the rock artillery which is absolutely perfect. She'll one shot the Mega Hint Tesla but we want to be able to one shot the rock artillery as well so we use the Barbarian to do so. Once again be mindful of time when you're going for non-default one-shots. Use the barrel just like in the default plan to try to chip down the giant cannon as well as tank all the multi-cannons to keep Sparky safe. Applying elements of the default plans to make sure that we can take out each compartment as efficiently as possible. So you want to adapt those plans to your non-default one-shots when you see a ton of ruins like this. Typically when you're going for your non-default one-shots, they involve bases that have a ton of ruins because those are very exploitable weaknesses that can allow you to get those one-shots and make them possible. In this case, like I said, this base is a lot worse than the actual default barbarian camp, which means we're actually going to be able to swag a lot of troop. My Sparky is actually at half HP still as she's going to finish off the rocket artillery, finish off the cannon we're holding on to the rest of our troops because we don't need them and we can get some more bonus gold barbarian camp is a base that you almost never one shot unless it's the default layout but in this case we we're able to pull it off with a hey sparky graveyard attack all right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't be discouraged if you time fail or just straight up fail a lot of non-default one shots. It happens. Not all of them will work out. In fact, most of them will not. And a lot of them will be very painful, high percent time fails. But if you were ever wondering how good you are in the clan capital, we have recently released an ELO system on our Discord server where players can 1v1 each other in the clan capital to test their skills and climb the ranks. So I hope to see you all there. Link in the description below. But like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video and take care.